How do I chill out and realize that I'm not able to do everything when it comes to marketing and real estate? First off, I think this is a really easy answer for me because I'm gonna link it up here. I don't know where they're gonna link it, but you should watch this video. I did something called the business plan, and in my business plan, there's three areas we focus on, finance, operation, and then marketing. And in that video, you will notice me saying that I believe that everyone and anyone should have no more than five to seven marketing pillars, really. And so when you think about that, that limits you. When you're trying to do everything, and there's a ton out there, there's so many things you can do to market, the problem is we get distracted and we're looking for the quick fix and we're looking for a FOMO. I don't want to miss out because I might get a lead, right? What you have to do is you have to have clear focus to go real far in this business, my friends. You have to. And in order to do that, I think we all are limited to five to seven actual true pillars that we can focus on. If you can focus on more, please share and let me know because I found trying to put 10, 12, 15 over my 10 year experience as a realtor, it just didn't work. And so what I would tell you is start with five and pick five pillars. That might be Facebook. It might be your, your sphere of influence. It might be Instagram. It might be leads, right? Or whatever it is, pick five and dominate and say, you know what, for this quarter, quarter four, quarter one, whatever, I'm gonna focus on these five, I'm not gonna veer, I'm not gonna go anywhere else, I'm gonna just focus on these five, and then I'm gonna adjust. And you may find out after three months, I might want seven, or five's too much. I need to, you know what, Tyler was right, I need to focus on two, and so start with five, pick them, commit and surrender to them, and then guess what, adjust on the following quarter.